You are a yummy beef burger and today we're going to look at these top 10 coins released by Bankless Research. It's going to be very interesting. We're going to learn something, friends, because you see a lot of these coins and you think, should I buy them? I recognize these names. I love them. I love them a lot. Let me tell you something. So Bankless, okay, the baby dolls are Bankless. They've done a list of top 10 coins to buy. Here I go. Unfortunately, these types of lists become a meme in crypto and it's for the wrong reasons baby dolls keep your back straight and your fluffy slippers on for this one so unfortunately i mean you can like not listen to me if you want by the time a coin makes it to a list like this its network effect is already exhausted there is mostly no edge left yes yes that's why you press like, subscribe, bell button and all. Thank you very much for contributing. Thank you for existing. I make all these thumbnails for you because they're like little buttons. Click, click. All right. I make all of these for you, friends. And I want you to know if you go to my, my bio, you can click on here. You can see my trading record. You see this little target here? You can see my trading record. And of course, I desperately want to relive the magic. I want to relive it. So I have absolutely no bias. In fact, I should be screaming to go buy all these. Top 10, top 10, top 10. Why aren't I? Well, I have experience now to share with you for free, all my wisdom for free because I believe you deserve it. You are kind. You have found me. I am your friend. We're going to be friends forever. If prices go negative or infinity, it doesn't matter. So these are just the tip of the iceberg. I have been able to just go, see you later. I don't want anything to do with them. This takes an enormous amount of market wisdom and experience. You can only gain something like this usually after about 10 years. <laughs> if you're super good, you'll do it in the first time, but most likely you won't because you don't, you are trained to just keep doing what works. Okay. So now we have these coins left. And if you've been watching my videos, you understand Metcalf's law, the community being the asset, not the code. You'll see all these coins. Right, so you have Frax, Polygon, Soylana, Lido, Rocket Pool, GMX, Optimism, Arbitrum, IMX, Uni, yay, really? Hmm, let's go through and just have a look. And you, it's not for what you think, because of course you buy any of these, they won't go to zero, but I'm here to win. Are you here to win? If you want to win, you got to be contrarian. Why? Because when people sell because they hate something, that means they put you in an extremely cheap price zone. Can you imagine somebody hated the color red? They hated the color red so much so that they owned the Ferrari and it's red. They just woke up one day. They're like, you know what? The color red is cursed. I'm getting rid of it. Maybe the Ferrari, they could sell it for 300000 but you find out they hate red so much. They want that Ferrari out this week, this week, and they give it away for 100000 now, you won't be saying anything's wrong with Ferrari. You'll just be saying, wow, this person really hates the color red. So this is our job. This is why you listen to me. We're going to go through some of these coins, friends, and by some, I mean all of them. So what am I looking for? You'll see by the end of it. You'll see why I'll, You'll see the difference between Hex and Chainlink compared to these. Of course, these can still go up, but you're going to see. So this is Frax. Frax, for example, is down 86%, which is pretty good. And by good, I mean, that's a deep, deep discount. But you see with Frax as well, Frax from the top of this range at the end of 2021 is down 75%. And Frax is trying to be some sort of empire, trying to have staked Ethereum. I don't even know all the specifics about it, but this type of oscillation range is pretty good. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could get some Fraxy boo and just get out of here. I want to see how much you could get. That's honestly, this is good. This is as good as it gets here. That is 3.8x on your Ethereum. If you've noticed up here, friends, this is versus ETH. All of these charts are against Ethereum. So you can see, I'm just going to drag this down so you can see the website. This website is really cool. Charts.cointrader.pro. If you come and play around here, you'll be able to get the historical charts for everything. If I just typed in Frax, for example, you see it was Frax, it's versus Ethereum, and you can click on it and it can bring you the charts. You can do it for any coin. It's fantastic, okay? So Frax, I guess it's okay. If you really believed in it and you want to participate, that's cool. Now, I don't know if there's a Frax community out there who are rabid and religious and who want to defend the Ponzi, but it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's as good as you can get. If we move on, now we have Matic. 
So if you'll notice, if we go back to my baby doll baby cake results, you'll notice something here. So I've got to keep reminding you, friends. I I got Matic and I did really well. Here is Matic. I made 10x on the Ethereum, the Bitcoin investment. So I made 30x, 2,900% because you are my friend. That is the USD return. Okay, so 30x on Bitcoin. Isn't that fantastic? And here it was. Right? I, I was just buying it. And then I started going up. Everyone started becoming a, a maxi. I mean, here's around 10x, right? Everyone started becoming a maxi in it. And I was like, well, this is a bit weird. I'm getting out. And I, I tweeted about it. So if you are new, welcome, welcome. I just want you to know, friends, if you go up here and you type in prophecy achieved, okay, into Twitter, I hope nobody's stolen this, by the way, you can go down. I have a lot of prophecy achieves. You can actually find Matic in the same, wow, look at me, Sid. This is the exact live, friends. Look at this, April 28th. 2021, we are doing this live. Here I am showing you me exiting. This is the best part. Look at this. I'm like, woohoo, Sandeep. Thank you very much because we're just winning. The bull markets, here we thought the bull market was just starting. You know, it was actually, unfortunately, just the end. And here I am putting the love hearts, the, the friendship four hearts on, on Sandeep and we're pumping up. Yay, I started scaling out. Isn't that fantastic? So these, this record is not an imaginary record. I'm here to show you. I only put the coins when I actually went to Twitter and I said, tell, 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 we're trying to get out now. So, and by, by the way, I was just starting. I, look, there's no one here had one comment, friends. Let's check out who replied here. Wow, someone tagging their friends. Shout out to you, Mr. KLSSFD. Thank you very much. So when it comes to these friends, you can see how uh, I did post when to get out. So I have no bias here, but I'm telling you now, Maddox Poopy. Okay, so I've had to tell you this. Yeah, I made, made, I made, did well in it. Maddox a poop. It's just a poopy. Why? Why is Maddox poopy? Maddox is poopy for a few reasons. Few reasons. You can even forget all the story and the narrative. But my number one concern is it's not cheap enough. It's only sixty percent off the high. That's not good enough for me. Okay. Why? Okay. Because if you bought it here today, like right today, and this is the cheapest it's been by the way in years. If you bought it here today, you start entering a risk zone at 2.3x. How sucky is that? If you're wrong and it comes all the way down, you risk 90%. So you basically risk the whole bullet of your Ethereum allocation only for like a 2x. It's not worth it, man. You may as well do a leverage trade. So if Matic was down, and I'm not kidding, if it was down 90% back to the bottom of this range, oh, we're talking a different story. You know, we're talking, oh, this is a different story. I'm like, okay, Maybe they can resurrect something, you know. We can have a different discussion, but it's not. It's not. You know, friends, I have a video coming out. Maybe you've seen it. It's about Matic and the stories we can learn from it. And it's funny, you know, in the video, if you watch the video, friends, it was recorded quite a while ago. The video was made up here. And in my video, you watch it, okay? If you watch it, you will see, I just, I actually did this in the video. I go, maybe it goes up and just comes back down. <laughs> and I'm looking at it now. This is funny enough, it did exactly that. It's just crazy. Watch this video about the stories we can learn from Matic to see this. So it's not cheap enough. And Matic is riding the coattails of Ethereum, just like every other coin. But at the end of the day, like if you're gonna, if you want me to really buy an asset off you, I want it to be super cheap. How many people hate Matic? No one. That's your first red flag. That should be your first red flag. That's my red flag. I go, huh. No one hates Matic. Damn. And you can tell why. Look at this, friends. Of course, it's not cheap enough. Okay. No one hates it. So why would we want to touch it? Okay. So Matic per se is great if you got in here. Yay. Stored your value, but it's over. All right. We just, we got to move on to the next thing. Solana is the next coin. Solana, different story. Guess who was in Solana as well? You can find Sol here. Sol, I did like a mega trade here. 108X. Yes. 108X. You can also go to you can also come here and type in Prophecy Achieve Solana. So I remember tweeting about it, exiting the top. Woohoo, look at this. Yay. This is against Bitcoin, right? So you can see here, friends, you can see, see 13.4x where it was tweeted. And then like when these are happening, there's a lot of noise, a lot of people going nuts. But at the end of the day, all that matters is did you get in and did you believe? Okay. You got to believe. If you don't believe, it's over. But then here comes the unfortunate part. To get out, you got to become a non-believer. This is why the game of investing is very hard, friends. And yes, a lot of people wonder, how the hell did I know to get out? There was a conference. They did a hackathon. 
announcement, which is a, which is a weird announcement, and everyone went nuts for it. There was a conference. Crypto banter became Solana maxis, and I just looked at it in two seconds. I was like, all right, I guess we're done. I'm just out, cold, ruthless, like that. This is how you have to be. You want to win this game, you have you have to look at this. Okay. So and for, and here's the thing. Solana is now down 86 percent against Ethereum, but it's got a lot of the. It's got now got same as Matic. Solana has the SEC target. So. If you wanted to believe in Solana long term, if you wanted to, you could get in here. I mean, it's a decent zone, right? If you got in here, how much would you get back towards the top? I mean, this is still great. Imagine you got 5.6x on your Ethereum, and Ethereum is fantastic. If you can beat Ethereum even by a 3x, so here's the, here's the minimum, friends. If you can't give me more than 200% on my Ethereum, so 3x, not worth it. Not worth it for anything. The risk isn't worth it because you got to risk the whole bullet. You understand me? So Solana, if you really wanted to believe, you could do it, right? Now, Lido Dow. Lido Dow, I also bought this. I also bought this and I sold it, not knowing what I was doing. Just got out, I think I here. I literally sold, I think, the exact top. And this thing is just a governance token. So does this look like a discount to you? Minus 48%? Nope. Not good enough for me. It's a governance token for Ethereum staking. I don't know if I can excite people in my mind to get something like this in the future. Voting, governance. You see, the, the, the narratives, friends, you, you got to start predicting who's going to be coming in the next waves, okay? So here's the Bitcoin chart. This is the, the first wave. This is Bitcoin, BlackRock, Spot, ETF, front Bitcoin, Harvening, run. I'm just, just guessing here. Maybe we have that. We're trying to think about the, the narratives up here. I feel like... Governance tokens are dead. No one really cares about them. And it kind of explains it when you think about it because, you know, stock markets are governance tokens, stock market shares. So why will they even come and, and, and stay relevant in, in crypto? That's something to think about, okay? So Lido Dow, remember that we're looking at, we're looking at Bankless's list. So Lido Dow, why, why have they put it on here? It's because Lido Dow do staking for Ethereum and they're Ethereum maxis. So of course... They're putting it here like, wow, yeah, you're supporting the ecosystem. So there is biasness here. But, I mean, it, your coin, your value's not going to go to zero, but it's just not cheap enough. That's it. What about Rocket Pool? Now, Rocket Pool, if you also notice, baby dolls, someone in here made 10x on, pro, actually 23x here on the Bitcoin. Wow, wow, on, on Rocket Pool. Surprise, surprise, I am a Rocket Pool baby doll. I learned about Rocket Pool 2020. I love the logo. They're from Australia. Congratulations. To all the Rocket Pool believers, I absolutely love it. Oh, isn't this crazy, friends? Guess look where I sold the Rocket Pool. <laughs> uh, this was just a fluke. This was just a fluke. I'm not some sort of genius. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> what a fluke. By the way, I rotated into Hex up here. I remember that final portion. I was like, dude, Rocket Pools has gone up absolutely monstrously high. It's done, right? By the way, this was, I know this is in Ethereum, but this is actually 100x on US dollar. So this is priced in Ethereum, it's 100x. So, I mean, man, it's just crazy how these things happen. That's why, you know, everybody keeps saying it's going up and up and up forever. And would I buy Rocket Pool? Of course, Rocket Pool's beautiful. I bought Rocket Pool when you didn't think it was cool, Habibi Albi. None of you thought Rocket Pool was cool. You're like, I don't like orange. I don't like logos. And I tell you, excuse me, orange have lots of vitamin C. They are good for you. Would I buy it now? Nope. No, I wouldn't. Why? Look at it. Look how much. It's only down. 43%. You've been listening to me for long enough to now know 43% is nothing. 43% is a fart in the wind in crypto. Give me minimum 80%. Minimum. That's right. I'm not saying it's going to get down here. I'm just saying I'm not even going to bother looking at you unless you give me that, okay? Because do you remember what I just told you about if you get in, you need to give me 200% on my Ethereum value. Look where you need to get out for your rocket pool to make any sense. Not worth it. Look how high that is. You're risking the whole bullet for a giant move like this. Do you know if this goes up this much, what the crypto industry has done by this point? Like it's, now you can see why. So I want discounts. I want discounts. So Rocket Pool also do decentralized staking for Ethereum. That's why they're on the list. And they're also cool. And Bankless have a bit of biasness. They're running the nodes. So I'm now I'm fleshing this out for you so you can see. What about GMX? GMX, the popular perpetual exchange protocol, I want you to know as well, it's not cheap enough. It's just not cheap enough. Okay, yes. Well, how much are you down? You're only down 50%. Excuse me. 
okay? 50% is not a discount in crypto. I don't care if it goes up higher. Yes, you can do these little trading up and down. You can do that, like, you know, try to make 30%, risk 10%. Of course, you can do that, friends. So I'm just telling you right now. By the way, I did make a announcement right here to get out of GMX if you were in it. Just because Crypto Banter, they did some hyper euphoric announcements. Crypto Banter made a whole show segment dedicated to it. And then here you go, bang. I mean, it's down. Like, it's just it, emotions, friends. Markets and emotions. They just know each other too well, right? I would only buy if it went all the way back down. And then they're still building. That's it. So if you don't pay attention to this, you will get in thinking, oh, I'm only up 70%. I'm not getting out. And then somehow you've wasted a year and a half and now you're down 70% after being up 70%, wondering what's happening. Look how high GMX has to go for this to be worth it. And by the way, this isn't even that good because you're risking one to make three. You're risking one ETH to make three ETH. Like, you can see the point now, friends, okay? What about optimism, the layer two for Ethereum? Optimism, a very high inflation. I have been making a lot of tweets showing they have an insane amount of coins coming between now and the end of 2024, right? Perfectly timed for the Bitcoin halvening so they can get the tokens and probably offload and dump. Would I touch it? No, down 65%. You want me to buy this? Give me 85, 90%, man. I don't care. I don't care. By the way, Optimism is also just a useless governance token for the layer two of Ethereum, right? And here we have Arbitrum. Now, you're not recognizing this chart because this is Arbitrum Ethereum, okay? So Arbitrum is down only 26% here. Once again, no, I'm not I'm not touching it. Give me 80% or lower. It's almost like Arbitrum can never even get down that low, basically, or can it, right? Now, another just useless governance token, friends. That's just all it is. Voting for something that you and I can't touch anyway. Immutable X is a chain, I think, catered for gaming. And they had, they pumped here. I remember I had a friend who kept messaging me in the Twitter replies. I forgot his name. I think his name was David or James. David, if you're out there, sir, I want to know how you're doing. I remember me and him were always training together. We're always doing, always pumping the weights during the bear market, friends. And then this unfortunate friend, David, has disappeared. Don't know where he's gone. He was always asking me about Immutable X. He really wanted to FOMO up here. And I, I researched the tokenomics and I was like, whoa, man, chill out. IMX have only released like 5% of their coins and the ICO for the insiders was like literally near zero. So they were all dumping and surprise, surprise, is exactly what happened. So if we go back and we just check how much it's gone down since, it's down 84%, which is great. That's good discount, right? You see this horizontal line? I guess I placed this. I literally placed this horizontal line when David asked me about it. I'm sure this is about minus 90%. There you go, friends. This line has been marked since November 2021, okay? Where the high was and it came back down, I'm like, that's it. Give me 90%. Still hasn't hit there. So will it ever hit there? I don't know. It's making a rounded bottom. How much are we going to get gaming chains to become popular in crypto? That's something we've got to think about as well. You, if you really believe in it, if you have some edge, if you believe that the coins are all distributed, you can participate. Personally, I don't want to punt on that yet. Why? Because gamers, right, we move to different games too fast. And I don't know if this gaming chain is going to be the next big thing, right? What if it's another gaming chain? I mean, it can, anything can happen in this year, 2024 and 2025, if we're there and we don't get scammed, right? So it is what it is, okay? So final coin, coin number 10 is Uniswap. So Uniswap, you could make a case, yes, you should buy it. You could because it's down 87%. It's done this double bottom, okay? It's done this double bottom, yay. And you might be able to make a decent Ethereum return if it comes back to the high. That's 6.8x. Of course, most people are already in Uni from higher. That we're in, if you're in, most people are like in from up here. So here to the top is still like a 4x, which is great. That's fantastic. But Uni is also a useless governance token. And unfortunately, like it's, look, they have too many insiders for them to go down forever. I know they're going to make it, but it's just, I used to have a big weight in them, a very big weight. It's just sad that they just grifted us all. There is no unicorn community out there who are rabid dogs. All right. Now, who are my favorite rabid dogs? You already know. Let's have a look at the discounts, friends. So I just showed you minus 30, 40, 50% for most of the coins. Some of them are minus 88%. If we look at hex versus Ethereum, I'm going to go to combined hex. You see this dashed line? The dotted line, dashed line, is the combined hex. So pre-split, right, value equivalent, it's down minus 94.5%. So not only do you get yield, okay, not only do you get yield, but if this goes back to the top, you've made 15 times your Ethereum. 
15 times, friends, if this goes back. 15x on ETH with multiple exclamation marks, and I'm going to do three rocket emojis. Wow. Compare that to the numbers we were seeing. We were seeing 3x, right, plus 50%, 2x. That's what we were seeing. Even at most, it was 6x, okay? These were the numbers we were looking at. 3x plus 50%, a 2x, 15x. Why? Why is the number so big? You know why? It's because Hex is considered a Ponzi cult. Religious crew have abandoned it for now. And everybody is, it's like, you know, uh, everybody is dismembered, basically. We've all been chopped to pieces and everyone's gone. And it's hated community. Everyone doesn't like the, the outrage marketing, the disappearance, whatever. Everybody's a bit schizophrenic. But we know this. We know this. Hex is already, we've already released the secret bull, bull market weapon, Pulse Chain. It just needs time for the bull market to flesh out. So you can see how when you, when you look at these, we don't know what the future holds. We don't even know if we're going to recover. But if we did recover, look at the upside. Look at the upside difference. So now you can see, right? I want you to know, right? We go back. We check these top 10 coins, okay? None of these coins, none of them are contrarian. None of these coins are controversial. None of them, okay? Absolutely none of them. And most of, half of them are governance tokens that you don't even have any upside potential yet, all right? Just being honest with you. No, no controversy. Everybody understands them. Everyone knows them. That's it. Okay. So you can cross them out. Yes. If you are new to investing, welcome, welcome. I'm here to blow your mind. Okay. Because I'm here to tell you the more someone understands and knows about your coin, the worse. Okay. You don't make money when everybody knows about what you're in. That means they've already priced it up. Okay. That means there's not much upside. You make money if you buy something. Everybody thinks it's trash and then a duck may start pumping it and now everybody starts hailing it as the next coming of Christ himself. That's how you make the most money. Contrarian, where you buy low and you sell high. Buy low means buying the depression, buying the fee. Sell high means waiting for euphoria. Now, you might say, when's the euphoria going to come? I don't know. That's why it's a game of probabilities, friends. All right. That's why it's a game of probabilities. What about Linky Boo? Chain Link as well. Chain Link. Everyone knows it. Not everyone understands it, but everyone knows it. You might easily make that case, but this is what I like Chain Link. Look at this. Chain Link is down 93% now. Okay. So, yeah, it's not as contrarian as Hex, but hey, man, if we get back up here, you get a 9x on your Ethereum. You get a 9x on your Ethereum. And what I like the most is see, we're looking at this chart, friends. I'm going to draw. A rectangle for you to show you most coins out there peaked in April to December. Okay, see this rectangle? This rectangle is where most coins peaked. Most coins peaked in April. So if we go April to May, around here. You see that? Now, where did we peak? We peaked in Chainlink, peaked down here. So if we go back in time, if you go and check how many days, there's 300 days. You might say, well, why is this relevant? Well, that means the time capitulation in Chainlink has been running for longer, which means there's a higher chance that it recovers first because time capitulation is needed to get rid of weak hands. You don't know how many days it's going to need. Maybe the market literally just needs a thousand days. Okay. Many coins in crypto, they've been going down for 800 days. Maybe they got to hit a thousand days. So there's like six months left or, or whatever. How long has Chainlink versus Ethereum been going down for? 1,050 days. You see this? 1,057 days. So once again, we are not certain of the future. We're just trying to guess. That's all. We're just trying to guess. In my experience, when something is down and destroyed that much and there's that many people who have overly confident bearish euphoria, in my experience, when it comes back, just for some reason, there's just no pullbacks. It's just, that, that's it, right? Now, obviously, this could be copium and hopium because I'm long, but I'm just here to share with you. Here to share with you. So you can now identify very contrasting differences from Chainlink being so far down and Hex as well compared to these top 10 coins listed. So that is why if you feel comfortable what you're holding, most of the time you're wrong. You, why do you feel comfort? You feel comfort because everyone knows the coin. You feel comfort because you're in, say, Rocket Pool uh, or GMX and everyone says, yeah, they're cool. I know about them. 
That's why you feel comfortable. But in investing, this does you no good. If you want a popularity contest with your friends and you want to see who's got the fluffiest slippers, who's wearing their wig on the best today, then of course, that's going to make you feel good. But in this game of investing, it's about perception of value. Perception of value. So you want to take advantage when people perceive the value to be low and it goes down and you want to sell when they perceive the value to be high. Okay, buy low, sell high. That's what we're going to do. Like I said, friends, you're going to tell mom and dad that we love and appreciate them, whether the prices go down to infinity and lower or up, okay? It doesn't matter. We're still going to make it. We're going to align ourselves with the righteous path, and that is to buy and hodl and see where we land when that euphoria comes. Like, subscribe, press the bell button on all. I'll catch you in the next one.